Audis are mainly built for German cement salesmen. Not this one, though. This is the R8. It's made from a blend of carbon fiber, magnesium, and aluminium. It has two seats. The engine's in the middle. And it's about as high off the ground as a badger's badger. By any measure, it's a full-on supercar, but so far as I can tell, it doesn't have any of the usual supercar drawbacks. You can see out of it for a kickoff. And it's not powered by some V17 quad turbo that does half a mile to the gallon and runs on diced lions. It's actually got the same 4.2 litre V8 that Audi put in the RS4 saloon. And would you listen to it? I am now doing 100 miles an hour and it sounds like I'm in church. Only I've got more headroom. And how have they done that? How can there be so much space in a car that's so low? How? I can only presume, and this is a revolting thought, I know that my buttocks are actually kissing the cat size. Not only is it spacious, but it's comfortable as well. And at £77,000, it costs about half as much as its stepsister, the Lamborghini Gallardo. It all sounds brilliant. But there are one or two issues that are worth mentioning. Most of the things on it, the leather upholstery, the satellite navigation, the stainless steel pedals, the bag and and stereo, in fact, nearly everything is an optional extra. And I don't think it's a particularly good-looking car. It's not balanced properly, somehow. And those LED fairy lamps at the front, they really don't work at all. They make it look like a council house at Christmas. The thing is, though, you won't care about the headlamps when you open the taps a little bit. Not to 60 takes 4.6 seconds. The top speed is as near as makes no difference, 190. It's not the speed, though, that impresses you most of all. It's the way this thing feels through the corners. Driving most supercars is like trying to manhandle a cow up a back staircase. sends more than a third of the power to the front wheels. So you don't really ever get any understeer. It's grip, 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 grip. And then if it does let go, it's just so manageable. is the best 911, the Carrera 2S. It costs about the same as the Audi and will now run four rings round it. Ah, Richard Hammond appears to have joined us in his Volkswagen Beetle. So you want to play right. Sports suspension on. Traction control. Here goes. Just not as involved in the drive. It's like he's back at base, pushing plastic pieces around on a war planning table. And in this, I'm on the front line, getting stuck. 
duck in. He's probably rabbiting on in there about how he feels an organic part of the machine, but the simple fact of the matter is, he's behind me. Obviously, through the corners, I have the four-wheel drive grip, and then on the straights, his miserable flat six is no match for this V8 tower of power. about it all. Oh, my driving letting us down there. Mind you, Hammond's driving also letting him down. Fearing that this would end up in a crash and a fireball, we pulled over for an argument. No, oh, come on. No, it's not just about the result. It's about the sensation along the way. The problem with this, mate, is they put the engine in the back. Okay, wrong yes. place. No. Horse and cars. I know, let's put the horse at the back. So in your case, they put the horse in the middle, in the cart. Yes, but it's but... balanced. No, that is one of the defining characteristics of that car. What? Well, for one thing, it defines the shape, which is incredibly aerodynamic. For another, the packaging means with the engine behind the rear wheels, you've got room for another set of seats, so you can use it. Why do you want seats in the back? I took the kids to school in that this morning and drove straight here. Well, I didn't. So who's the daddy now? I said, kids, you're going to have to go with your mother because I've got no seats. Why has he got silly grey bits? They are sideways. Having resolved nothing, we decided to settle it intelligently with a half-mile drag race. Well, I've got about 70 brake horsepower less, but it's lighter. His four-wheel drive will bog down off the line. I really want to win this because... I really, really like this car. I mean, a lot. I've got the engine on the rear wheel, so I've got the advantage in traction. I'm confident. Ish. A slow motion replay of that finish, please. Here we go. No. Oh, yes, clearly! Yeah! No, no! No! Oh, no, no! You lost, that is an L. Aha! Aha! But very soon, there's going to be a V10 version of this. Not the Lambo V10, Audi's own. Then, okay. aha! Yeah, I wouldn't hold your breath. Why? Well, did you hear what happened to the prototype? In fact, we have a photograph of it here, if we look up. That's on fire! There it is. It's clearly on fire. It's just steam. Really? Yes. Would you like to see what happened once they'd put the steam out? Yeah. There's the car after they put the steam out. That's... <laughs> oh, that's steamed, isn't it? It's steam. Yes, well uh, steamed. Can we just get on? No, I'll tell you what, I'm going to settle this once and for all. I'm going to put it to the audience. I'm going to hold a general election right here, right now. I am. Are you sure that's a good idea? This is a very popular car. You know, there's a £30,000 premium on these at the moment. You go ahead if you want. Actually, no, I've suddenly decided that a general election right now is a stupid yeah. idea. <laughs> because I might lose. Why don't you just stay where you are and nick all my ideas? That's a good idea. Yeah. And in fact, it was my idea to do just that. <laughs> so so this it's, a is a, it's a brilliant Fantastic car. car. I've there said that from the start. <laughs> 